Clash at the Castle is going to be coming up tomorrow from the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Tyson Fury on his 34th birthday uh, a couple days ago, or I guess it's been about a week or so now. He retired, um, I think it was like August 18th or so. He retired. He's retired a lot, maybe not a lot, but on more than one occasion, he's been he's been done with this whole thing. And I guess maybe now would be a good time to be retired if he wants to get involved in professional wrestling. And who knows what could happen? He says he's going to be ringside for Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns, which is the main event. Roman Reigns has been the heavyweight champion of the world for two years. Tonight on SmackDown, there will be a ceremony for Roman Reigns to celebrate that achievement. It will feature the Usos. It will feature Sami Zayn. I guess there's been reports like from PW Insider, maybe Solo Sokoa is cut into the show with some sort of appearance or something like that. We'll just have to see how this whole thing goes down. But, man... Is Tyson Fury going to be there because he's going to he's going to screw Drew McIntyre out of the uh out of the undisputed WWE championship? I would hate for that to be the case. I think now would be a good time to beat Roman Reigns. I think Drew McIntyre getting that victory. Again, you can go with him to Tyson Fury rematches with Roman. I, look, to me now is just the time because The Rock and Roman Reigns, if that's the match for WrestleMania, and on paper, if I could pull that match off, that's exactly the match I would want for night two of WrestleMania. It doesn't need to have the world title. It just needs to have The Rock and one hell of a story that everybody in the mainstream can easily get behind. Wrestling fans will, because it's The Rock and... Roman Reigns. I mean, all of the lead up, all of the conversation, all of the talk, it's all going to be money. You know, it's going to be. So do you, does he need a belt? You know, Cody Rhodes. Okay. Look, Roman and Cody is a match I like a lot for WrestleMania. If you can't do the Rock and Roman, I really like Cody and Roman. But Drew McIntyre can win the belt now, and Roman Reigns can win it back, and he can talk about being back on his thing again. He can talk about having his family again. He can talk about having his bloodline again. And on day one, or whatever they call that show in Atlanta on January 1st, whatever the, the gimmick is on Peacock there, in Atlanta, Cody's hometown, he can reappear. And he can challenge Roman Reigns at that point, cut him off and go, well, wait a second, your bloodline came after my bloodline. And as we remember, my father was did not get the chance to be WWE champion. I don't know. Long story short, I believe Drew McIntyre is going to get the victory over Roman Reigns. That's what I would like to see happen, because I think you can do more with it. From here, if Roman Reigns, okay, he gets the victory... Okay, then what? Then what? You know, Drew McIntyre's got Killer Cross already set up, or, or Carrion Cross, whatever the hell they're, they're calling him, Cross and, and Scarlet. He seems to already have that set up, so does Cross go, well, uh, no, no. I'm going to continue to to go after Drew here. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't necessarily want to see Roman and, and Cross as a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. I kind of want to test the waters with Cross against Drew first, but, you know, could this be leading to a three-way with these three guys? I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go down, but I think Drew's going to come out of there with the belt. That is going to be the main event, of course. The semi-main event, as of now, I believe on paper, as of now, it's Liv Morgan and Shayna Baszler. That could easily change by the time the show rolls around. But as of now, that seems to be what the semi-main event is, and... Uh, Liv Morgan's title reign has been a little underwhelming. Uh, Thunder Rose's has been as well, too, but Liv's a, a little bit differently in her case here. They have booked her not to be all that strong, and 
if Shayna Baszler got the win here, it wouldn't bother me at all. I don't think that's how it's going to go down. You know, I think it's going to be Ronda maybe that takes the belt off of Liv again. You know, maybe because Shayna breaks her arm in this match or something like that. Hopefully somehow you can have Liv come out of this thing looking a little bit stronger. I can't believe she's going to lose the title here to Shayna if she does. I don't know what you do here. You've already, how many times could she fail and cry about it and then say she's going to she's gonna come back because that's what she does. No, she could use a win here, and I think she gets it. Bianca Belair. Belair. There was some Maryland coming back out for you. Belair. Blair Road. Belair Road. Uh, mix them up together. You say one like the other, and that's what I just did right there to Bianca Belair. Uh, Alexa Bliss and Asuka against Bailey Dakota Kai Io Sky. I... Sure, this match is going to be incredibly fun. Hopefully, they just let him go all out. This is this is the show I'd probably open with. This is the match that I'd open the show with. I'd, I'd send them all out there and have them all fly around. I bet you it'll be great. Who gets the victory here? I'm betting Bailey Dakota Sky and, and, and Dakota Kai and EO Sky get the victory. They obviously lost during the tag team tournament that was going on uh, to get a little bit of heat there somehow, some way. Maybe it's uh, Bailey that gets the victory over Bianca. I'm going to go with that for right now. Matt, Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins. I just want to see it be a fight. That's all I'm looking for. You did what you did on Monday. You, you played into that old John Jones, Daniel Cormier thing. You've made this a blood fight. You've brought families into it. I don't want to see a lockup. Okay? It's like that Triple H, Randy Orton blood feud, you know? A man broke into another man's house, threw him through a plate glass window in front of his wife. And and what are we going to do? We're going to start with a lockup. No lockup. Punches being thrown. I want to see ass being kicked. Riddle trying to throw every mixed martial arts thing he can at Seth Rollins, who uses all of his parkour and and uh, all that, that stuff that he does. What's it? The, uh, the, the whole the lifting gimmick and all that. All those people end up on... Uh, on American Ninja Warrior, all those folks. You can see I'm not, I'm not working out and getting involved. CrossFit, that's what it is. Do all that sort of stuff. Try to get yourself away from Matt Riddle. But I want to see a fight in this, and I want to see Matt Riddle get the victory. I don't know who is going to get the victory here. You can easily make it where Seth Rollins takes advantage of a, an upset Riddle's mistake, but uh, I'll say Matt Riddle here. Gunther against Sheamus, same thing. I just want to see two dudes hoss out and beat the living hell out of each other. Sheamus is pasty, and Walter hits hard. Can can you imagine the handprints that are going to be on that man's chest by the time everything is said and done? Gunther is a great intercontinental champion. Sure, Sheamus could get the victory because, you know, the UK and Ireland and everything, but it's Wales. You can beat that dude. I hope Gunther gets the victory. And Edge and Rey Mysterio against Judgment Day. I think Judgment Day is getting the victory. I think... Dominic Mysterio is going to turn on his father and Edge, and he'll be very upset on Monday, and he'll chastise his father uh, for choosing Edge over him, and he could say that that he's safely in the arms of who he wants to be with, and then Rhea Ripley can just kind of like pick him up, pick him up, and kind of cuddle him like this, and be very interesting to see how what Dominic Mysterio's role is going to be uh, inside of the uh, Judgment Day faction. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected as a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, yeah. It, let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all, I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex, right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant's battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, okay, no. Okay, all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All the, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, 
And then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> go, to, go to jail. Your guilty was the high spot of the week. You I'll, shut I'll... me off. No. Oh, you're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like she, she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.